Good day, guys. I'm here on the coast of Maine. Going to be digging some bloodworms today. I just want to bring you along for the journey, show you what it's all about, guys, and show you how I get these worms. All right, guys. I'm here in the tidal mud flats. I'm using this bloodworm hoe right here. That's how I dig these worms is I turn the mud flats over with that bloodworm hoe right there. These uh, worms are in these, uh, in these tunnels that they make in the mud. You can see them as I pan along here. You can see tunnels in the mud like that right there. That's what they're in, guys. I'll see if we can find one and I'll show you what it's like. But we're after blood worms here. These are one of nature's best baits. I harvest these around the time of low tide here. Just want to bring you along. There goes one right there, guys. There's one right there. That's your blood worm. Let's see if we can get it out. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Let's see if we can find it. There it is right there. That's your blood worm right there. He was down in that tunnel. See, there's another tunnel right there going down. There's other kind of worms in here besides blood worms. But that right there is your blood worm, guys. That is what we're after right there. Let me see if I can rinse that off a little bit so you can see the top of him. There's the head of it right there, guys. That's your uh, head on the blood worm. They've actually got four fangs inside that head right there. I always tell people to handle them carefully. They definitely can bite. Look at that head go, guys, right there. That's where your fangs are, is inside that head right there. Always be careful of that if you ever use them. See if we can find us another one, guys. So it's repetitive motion with that wormhole right there. There's another one right there. And there's the head going out on it. Look at that thing go. That's what you want to be careful of. I always tell people to handle them carefully because them right there, they can bite. Some people actually have an allergic reaction to their uh, venom that they have. I personally don't, but some people do. There's another one right there. Look at that, guys. Another blood worm. I use them for striped bass. Some people use them for flounder, fluke, whiting, sheep's head, sprock, croaker, bluefish, pogies, manhaden. Um, I've heard people using them for catfish. People use them for walleye and trout. So many fish will bite these guys. One of nature's best baits, but there's something right there. When that put that uh, when they put that head out right there, that's what you want to be careful of. They can bite, that's for sure. Feels kind of like a bee sting when they bite you guys. See if we can find another one. Appreciate you joining me this morning. See if we can find us another worm, guys. Here we go. Oh, there's one right there. There's another one right there. That's your blood worm right there, guys. There he goes. See if we can get him out of the mud. There we are, right there. That's what we're after. I'm really glad you guys got to see this, guys. Look at that head. Look at it. Look at it go. That's where your fangs are is in that head. Be careful. Wow. Man, oh, man. Just handle them carefully, guys. Here we go. See if we can find us another one. There's another one right there, guys. Going down. There you go. Right there. That's a smaller one. Right there. But that's another blood worm. So these, uh, these worms right here, guys, they get uh, pretty big. Sometimes... They will get a couple feet long, and as they grow and they get bigger, I've uh, always noticed sometimes they're a little harder to get out of the mud because that that size that they have. You have to take several holefuls sometimes to get them. There's another one right there, guys. Appreciate you coming along, checking it out. But this is what I recommend for fishing bait, guys. They uh, there's something you want to handle carefully, but they're excellent, especially for saltwater fishing bait. One of the best baits that I know of right here, blood worms. I, uh, I highly recommend them for fishing bait. Just handle them carefully. You guys have a great day.